Drew Brees, uh, respected around the league, said originally any protest involving kneeling during the national anthem and stuff was an affront to being American. And then within 24 hours, he walks that back with what appears to be a sincere apology with his wife tweeting, we are the problem. Yeah. Well, it's, I think it's one of the interesting things I find about that whole thing was the day before he had just participated in what was like a social media blackout that understood the fact that there were some racial uh, inequalities going on. So it, that's what I think really took it to the next level. It wasn't so, so much that Drew Brees said what he said, and I do believe that that's what he said and he meant it. It was the fact that the day before you participated in what we thought you got. And then we hear that you don't get the whole thing. Now, mm -hmm. that being said, you didn't have to do five apologies. And it doesn't make Drew Brees the worst person in the world. We all know that he's done great things. But that just goes to show you people who you think get it don't get it. And he didn't. And that's why I think he apologized so many different times. Because it was kind of like, wait a minute, hold on. I, I, I didn't truly understand the whole thing and tried to walk it all the way back when even his wife apologized. Pat, there's a bigger issue here, too, uh, and this gets to something that we've talked about for years, I think. The whole idea about us wanting athletes to speak out on social issues or issues that involve things other than their sport, and then they do, and it's like, this is great as long as we agree with you. Now, Drew Brees, yeah. the, the opinion that Drew Brees threw out there two years ago was like official policy in the NFL, and then he became a pariah. I, I'm, and I wonder, I said, I don't know how you can protect both sides of this. Well, there is no protecting both sides of it, right? It's going to come down to how you legitimately feel about something. And now we're not seeing people, players, pandering to what they think is going to make them the most money. At least personally, I don't think. We're seeing how they legitimately feel. Like, what is very unique about this situation is it is a microcosm of a larger problem in this country. What happened with Drew Brees is the problem that is happening nationwide. Drew Brees is a guy who for what his entire career has worked with the majority of his roster being black guys, right? And he's friends with folks that are black and he talks to folks that are black and I'm sure has them over to his house and all these things, right? And he believes that he understood the issues that were happening. He didn't. He didn't fully understand what the problem was, what these guys had been saying for years and years and years. It didn't fully get the entire story until after he said the thing that he said. Look, there are a lot of people right now who are making arguments about why things are okay and why they're not a racist and why, you know, this is over extreme and this is a little farther. Look, if you haven't lived the experience, there's no way you can understand. If you haven't seen it with your own eyes, there's no way that you know what that's like on a daily basis walking around like that. And Drew Brees, although he might be a great guy, and like Tariq said, he's done a ton for the community and he has friends of every race, race creed, and color, he didn't fully understand it until these people that he considered friends came to him and said, look, this is how it actually is. And we're going to have a real discussion. And I mean, unless you're a cynic and believe that he's doing this all to try and save his own, you know what? Well, maybe he finally understood it. Can I just say this, though? You know, Drew Brees got, got a lot of public flack and, and over time. And I believe that he will do the work to try to amend fences and do what's right and continue to help people in New Orleans through his religion or whatever, whatever uh, organization he wants to do. I will say this, though. He didn't lose his job, okay? And there are players and people that have made comments that have lost their job. And so when you look back on it and you look at the comments that were made, I didn't like what he said, but do is there room for Drew Brees to come back? Of course. Is there room for, like, for example, Jake Fromm to come back? Of course. Because you, you have to give some room to come back and get it. And you also have to allow the door to be open for people that, oh, wait a minute. If Drew Brees doesn't understand, do I understand? So Yeah, you hit it right. In, yeah, you, I mean, Tariq, you hit it right on the head. You give a person room for growth and you find out by that person's actions moving forward if there was a legitimate thing learned. And if there was, that's fantastic. If there wasn't, I mean, look, the sad fact of the matter is it's Drew Brees. The guy is too talented to be really hurt by something like this. And to be honest, whether or not how he feels about something, whether it's appropriate or inappropriate, should affect his job is a whole other hour-long discussion. But mm -hmm. it is a good thing. It is a good thing what we witnessed between all of the parties involved over the last week.